for over a year in Minneapolis. The streets were closed and the community held space. We as neighbors held space in protest because we deeply believe that there should be no more lynchings in this country. The art continued to grow as protest art. People continued to come from all over the world and lay down offerings. And so our work continued as neighbors to be able to preserve the stories and preserve the voices of the people as protest. If you come to that space, you are going to encounter a four square block area that has fists as large as this one, even larger, at every entry point to George Floyd Square and the center. You're going to find installations that span the streets, that take over sections of city blocks, that take over buildings. Uh, our community became our canvas of our voice. We have so much protest in George Floyd Square that it's spilling over to places like Phoenix where we have enough to lend our voices to, to encourage those who are still boots on the ground in this city. To bring this here to the Phoenix metropolitan area, to Arizona State University is, is also significant because there is a history of police violence that, that is here that dates back to the early part of the 20th century that manifests itself uh, in, in our contemporary moment. I'm emotionally tied to it because I spent time at George Floyd Square and I've gotten an opportunity to meet community members, meet activists. I have this visceral emotional connection, even though I've been doing this kind of intellectual work about you know Minneapolis, about police violence. For me, this is this is profoundly emotional. And I'm I'm moved and humbled to just simply be a part of this. Our purpose is to be able to create spaces that remind people that the work is not over. 